Hi guys, how are you doing? This is another um, what's in my ephemera box video, so let's get right to it. So if you're a crafter of any kind or an artist, you might have some type of netting material or bubble wrap that you can use. And uh, there's so many things you can do with it. You could use it to add texture to your pages. I mean, you could even use like a crayon um, on top of this and you'll get the outline of the lines. You can just cut a little piece off and have, you know, have it. What can I use? What can I use? Let, let's just use this young couple. You know, it might make a cool, interesting look. But anyway, so there's that. And I have, like the last video, I had uh, purchased some records. Well, there were no records inside of them, but the albums looked really cool. And I want to do something fun with those. So yeah, cut that out. And just some pictures of towels sponges but I mean you could use those in so many ways you could cut them in different uh, maybe you had three pictures you wanted to center or I don't know some sweaters anything with uh, images you like or textures or or colors that's a great thing to do uh, and you'll see this is a seam I like to use old packaging and these were actually really delicious so good old fashioned washi tape. I really like this dispenser because you can put any washi tape on it and use it like, you know, it just makes it easier. This was an armband from where? The South Seas Plantation. I went to visit someone. A bunch of us family people were there. A fun little bag that some stickers came in. You know, you could use it as a tip-in and a pocket or, you know, affix it down and just use it as a little pocket. You could make it a shaker. What else? Oh, more of this packaging. <laughs> Let's get down in there. Oh, I have bags. Okay, I had never used these, but I love paper bags. You can cut these down to size and... Or just use, you know, the cute little decoration there. All right. What, oh, I wanted to show you guys this. So I had a happy planner that um, it did not have water and it just had this glitter. But, oh, my goodness. Please. So much fun. And I haven't found any others um, like it. I, I would love to get another planner. Uh, with glitter inside like this. Love it. It's on that side. Oh, washi tape. Let's see, what else do I have? Just pull some stuff out. Oh, this is a little bag of miscellaneous things that I already cut. So you could watch TV and just cut along um, images while you're watching TV and throw them in your bag. Uh, that way you already have some ready to go and I could just, you know, if I don't really have a theme, I could just pull one out and use it. What's this? Oh, another bag. What does it say? Hold this. <laughs> Super cute. She's adorable. What else? Oh, I love these things. So you can use um, some Gorilla Glue in your, whatever you're working on. I would suggest if it's, uh, you know, thicker paper, you wouldn't need to double up the pages. But if you have like just some notebook paper, you know, maybe you would want to glue a few sheets together. That way it's a little bit more sturdy. But even this would be cute um, if you put a like a ribbon on it and have it outside of your journal. I love it. Oh, this was a long time ago. I was printing out some images. I mean, this is a long time ago. Wow. Okay, what else? What else we got in here? What's this? Oh, a little Halloween 
fall harvest image. I love the way that looks. And that's why I cut this out. And you know what? VermontCountryStore.com. So it came out of a catalog. I mean, I never subscribed to this. I must have gotten a free magazine from someone. Oh, goodness gracious. If you ever get a chance to try these and you like licorice, yes, those are so good. Peanut-free, gluten-free, a fat-free food. But, you know, I will make it a little um, tip-in or a pocket. I have a bunch of these. I've used these for many things. They're just little foam keys. So that's fun. What is this? Another tag. What's the tag for? JessicaSimpson.com. I think I had a purse. Just a simple design. Let's see what else is under here. Oh, these are rub-on transfers, so you would just, you know, cut around the image, put, peel this back. You peel that part back, put this back down on the paper, and use like a popsicle stick or something like that, and it'll go right on your paper. I love using these. Love them. All right, here's some regular stickers. Uh... When you're feeling sarcastic, I use those in my, um, not just journaling, but in my planner. And this is part of packaging for, oh, um, I think I showed you these puffy things. I don't know about that one, but so this was part of the packaging and I thought either I could cut out each one of these or just, you know, cut this off and use it as a background. Even that, I mean, Oh my goodness, there's so many things you can do. And of course, letters. That's always a good one. And, oh yeah, I've been opening these on the channel. So I have lots of these little checklists. So this would actually be fun. You could um, gesso over this if you wanted to. Or just paint on top of it. Or use markers. I might have to do that for an example. Let's see. What is this? A Mr. Clean image. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, this is from one of those. I don't have it right beside me, but the paper ephemera books that you can get. They come from Sweden or Norway or. Finland, maybe? I'm not sure. What is this? Oh, it's a ribbon. <laughs> um, yeah, so I just sort of, when you get a gift, you can put that on there. I got this from a magazine. So this would make a really cute border. What else? Oh, a photograph I took a long time ago. Is there a year? Oh... Five. This was in um, Tennessee, and I think I was in Cades Cove, and I looked up and took this picture. I mean, it's not anything special to write home about, but this could be really nice to put in as a background. Oh, yeah. So, you know, you get these little guides. You could, um, I mean, what do you do with them? You just throw them in the trash? Well, why not use part of them? You can glue them um, down in your book and uh, make different things with them. You know, interesting. Use a little bit, use a lot. <laughs> but, it, I mean, it's free paper. You could use this as a, um, a journal. So, more packaging. Love it. A picture of, what is that? I don't even know what that is. Some type of leaves. And more stickers. More, I mean, I just, I don't throw these away. <laughs> and plus I like the sound. Awesome. 
a little, I don't even know what this came from. I have no idea, but it's just like a little strip. Oh, I think makeup, a makeup container. This is part of the packaging. So yeah, give me that, give me that glitter. And these were stickers. I just, oh, they are still sort of sticky. I just thought that would make a nice thing in a journal or what, whatever. Well, I've had a ton of these I bought many, many years ago, so I just keep using them now and again. A little vintage piece of ephemera. If you saw my ephemera surprise bag opening video, this came out of it, and um, I didn't realize it had fallen off the table, so now I have it, so that's cool. That'll be fun. And speaking of vintage ephemera, um, I just ordered another package of vintage ephemera so i'm excited to see what's in that one yep part of a ziploc bag <laughs> i mean this was i don't even think this was ever used but how cute is that i can take this back part off and just you know have it flip or have it uh, superimposed over another image let's put them in front of a pizza hold on i'm gonna have this pizza in here you know just have him on there you could have I have a um a journal that I have a piece a piece of I can't talk uh, a pizza cut in half and one's on one side of the page and one is on the other and this would look cute on top and I will do a flip through of some of my journals for you guys my completed ones oh I love this I love it some more stickers some with the little cute little foil on them I can't get enough stickers I love the stickers okay what else is in here a patch I ordered a bunch of patches um, in my eBay store when I ship out in an, an order I will include either a patch and or a couple stickers that have to do with maybe where they live or what their order was about and I didn't know what this was supposed to be so I was like, well, that's sort of junk, but I don't want to throw it away. So, I mean, I'm not a hoarder. This is my little hoarding stash. So it's, uh, <laughs> it's not out of control at all. I mean, it's contained, right? But yeah, I would just glue this down in the book and it would be something interesting. What else? Ooh, what's in here? I have, oh, that's a weird sticker I have part of a marker packaging I have American Sign Language alphabet I used to teach some of the two-year-olds not some of them I would whoever would sit around and look uh, American Sign Language and it did help a couple children this is what is this from this is from something I had stuck in a planner or whatever, and then I ended up taking it out. So I will be using that. Uh, little pieces of paper. That's adorable. I'm not really into wit witches or anything like that, but I love like a vintage look. Another hor uh, not horoscope. Ooh, I'm just in front of you. Yes. What is that called? A... Um, from a fortune cookie. A fortune. <clears throat> okay, a random letter O. And just some other goodies. Oh yeah, I had cut this off of one of my planners and I'm like, I don't know. I'll just throw it in here. Yeah, so you, you never know. I mean, these are good if you don't want to think about what am I planning for this page? You don't always have to plan and you can just be like, well, let me just go and I'm just going to grab it and I'm going to use it in your glue book or whatever you wanted to. You know what I mean? Just a random piece of um, cardstock paper that I had a long time ago. Let's see. These are... So whenever I would be painting uh, to wipe off any excess paint, I would just always have paper next to me and this is over a period of time so uh, yeah you just wipe it off and look at this amazing background I have 
it's all ready to go. So I've used some of these before. Oh, look at that. I have some glitter. Yes. And oh, I love that. That's very nice. Let's put, um, just for the hay of it, where did it go? Where's my Olaf? I was going to throw Olaf over the top of it. Okay, calm down. Oh, I don't know where he is. What about that couple? Where are they at? This couple. Oh, they're too big. And it covers up. But look how cool that is. You know? Doesn't really fit on the page too much. A little bit. Ooh, I like that. That looks cool. See, you can just add, combine, layer. There's another nice one. Oh, I think I already showed you that one. That's sort of nice too, actually. Let me put these. You know, let me just try it out. See what the background looks like. That's fun. That is fun. Of course, postcards. This is from where? Gatlinburg? No. This is, oh yeah. I think this is from um, the Smoky Mountains. Does it stay here? Yeah, Blue Ridge Parkway. What else do we have? I'm only going to do a couple more things here. I'll try to find some different things. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It has a little window. And yes, I can use it. I mean, it's sort of mundane, but why not? And what else? I have a lot of images. What's here? Oh, another package. These were interesting. I wouldn't get these again, but they do um, initially, your first bite tastes just like a chocolate and banana, a banana covered chocolate. Um, but I didn't want to throw it away. I hadn't decided if I would use it yet. A little rope. What else? I would have that. We'll save that for the next one. And oh yeah, here's more of a packaging of uh, brushes. Yes. And by the way, these brushes, I think I got these at Ross. They did not hold up. Water got into the wells. Yeah, that didn't work out very well for me. And we'll show that the next time. And then this. I had uh, bought some puffy paint to use and, um, you know, I wanted to test it out. So when you're done, you don't have to throw that away. Let it dry. And there I go. I have a little tip and I can use. Yeah. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to let you go and I hope you join in on the next one and comment below, say anything, like, and subscribe. You know the deal. And I really, really appreciate you and thank you. Okay. Bye.